season's greetings and Merry Christmas. Today I want to talk to you about agmatine sulfate. Now I mentioned it already this week with my video about the three-phase pump technology and that the arginine is converted to nitric oxide by nitric oxide synthase and agmatine sulfate upregulates nitric oxide synthase in the capillaries. This is true. This is not all that agmatine sulfate does, however. Agmatine sulfate decreases nitric oxide synthesis in the brain, and this has a benefit. This benefit is that it causes indirect increase in LH release. The LH, of course, is what stimulates the testes to produce testosterone. So in other words, agmatine sulfate indirectly increases testosterone release. This is why it's in Thor's hammer. One, I want it in the bloodstream for a while so that when you take the Fenner's Fury pre-workout, you've got the agmatine sulfate have already acted on the nitric oxide synthase so that you get the maximum arginine conversion into nitric oxide. But the reason why it's in the Thor's Hammer test booster combo pack is because the test boosting effect is not only from the sodium diaspartate, it's not only from the 7,8-benzo decreasing estrogen. It's also from the agmatine sulfate itself. So make sure to get your Thor's hammer at Valhalla-Labs.com and your Fenris Fury from Valhalla-Labs.com. So you get your agmatine sulfate and can have an all-day pump, increased um, muscle pump during your workouts, and increased natural testosterone production.